Hi, I'm Faith, and we are on day four of Passion Week, and we are looking at Matthew 26, 17 to 72. This reading covers the last night before Jesus' death. It records a series of betrayals. During this night, as people betray Jesus, we see Jesus continue his focus on the cross. As he celebrates the Passover meal with his disciples, he prepares them that he is God's predicted plan for salvation and that he must die. When he is arrested and questioned, Jesus is in full control of the situation. But in the middle of the night, there is this time period where we see Jesus feel the weight and fear of what is about to happen. Many of us can probably relate to a time when we were good until we weren't good and thought, I don't want to do this anymore. I think that Jesus' humanity must have felt very heavy on him in this time. He spends some time with anxiety, praying and asking for reprieve, and then agreeing that he will obey anyway. This was a moment that required courage. Courage is not innate in us. We aren't just born with it or not. It comes in a difficult situation that forces us to act when we are scared. So where did Jesus get his courage? By knowing the Father's goodness and the Father's plan. Isaiah tells us that God looked and saw that there was no one to help Israel. So he said that he himself would bring salvation. Jesus would be that new and complete salvation. Jesus knew what God was doing and who God was. He knew that God perfectly loved him and he loved God back. He was convinced that God's plan was the best plan and must go forward. Maybe you need to make a turn in your story. Maybe God is telling you that you need to move toward something or away from something. Maybe what you need is to keep going or maybe God is asking that you keep still, believing that God loves you and will work out a good purpose. Take a minute and reflect on what you know about God's goodness and how much he loves you. Honesty is our first step toward courage. Jesus was honest with God that it was a bad situation. And he was so convinced that God was good and that his plan was good, that it helped him to do it anyway. We can have courage by following Jesus and knowing God. We can spend time looking for God in the Bible to understand him better. We can spend time in prayer, talking and listening. Be convinced of the Father's goodness toward you. God's plan for your salvation was the death of his son. You are valuable to him. You are not alone. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Hebrews 4, 14 through 16 tells us that since Jesus also lived as a human, he understands when we need help and tells us to boldly ask for it. No matter where you sit today, be convinced that God loves you. Jesus, thank you for your example, for your love, for understanding my need, and for giving me help. Help me to have the strength and the courage to follow you today. Amen. Please join us tomorrow as we consider Jesus' courage during his crucifixion.